I chose the book Mistakes Were Made But Not By Me. This book discusses the concept of self-justification and reducing dissonance. It uses examples of politics, marriage, family drama, and more. It is a, discusses how when a person makes a mistake, their first response is self-justification and making excuses as to why they made that mistake or not admitting to the mistake at all and blaming someone else. But when another person makes a mistake, they judge them by their actions and not by their intentions. The concept of self-justification keeps a person's self-esteem up, but can ruin relationships. So people often won't own up to their mistakes and need to calm the social cognitive dissonance that messes with our feelings of self-worth. This book uses examples of this that people can relate to. I'm going to discuss some of the sections that stood out most to me. The first section discusses cognitive disson dissonance and self-justification. It starts by using the example of a group led by Mrs. Keach that thought the world was going to end and that believers would be picked up by a flying saucer and delivered to safety. When that did not happen, she explained that they had been spared because of their group's faith. The followers became more involved in the group after that and didn't think they had made a mistake by joining. They were self-justifying. Dissonance produces mental discomfort, and so therefore people reduce it by making excuses and justifying their actions. The next sec section discusses blind spots and how people unintentionally blind themselves so they fail to notice information that might make them question their behavior or their convictions. It also discusses confirmation bias. We assume that other reasonable people can see things in a similar way that we do, and if they don't, well, they aren't seeing clearly. Next, the book discusses how memory plays into self-justification. It talks about how memory enables confirmation bias to cause us to forget disconfirming information about our beliefs. This section also discusses dissonance theory and how we forget others' good arguments made by the other person we are arguing with and how and bad arguments made by ourselves. Next, the book discusses self-justification in marriage. This is my favorite section. It mentions how marriage forces couples to face themselves, but how relationships can be destroyed by self-justification. In marriages, an unhappy marriage will focus on all that is wrong, whereas a happy marriage will focus on what the other person is doing right. For example, how you met or the first year of their relationship, unhappy couples will discuss all that went wrong and why, whereas happy couples will call those bad times rough spots and see them as challenges that they survived with humor and affection. Successful stable couples are able to listen to each other's criticisms, concerns, and suggestions undefensively. Finally, the book discusses how people can let go of their self-justifications and own up to their actions. Reducing dissonance has many benefits because without it, people would not be able to get rid of the guilt and regret. But people don't need to be controlled by reducing dissonance. We need to be able to own up to our mistakes and learn from them instead. It is difficult for people to own up to their mistakes, but it's best for people to admit their mistakes. Most people will do everything they can not to admit they did something wrong, and we are automatically self-correcting. Letting go of self-justification and admitting, admitting mistakes is beneficial to the mind and relationships, but self-justification is automatic, so it's often difficult to let go of. I enjoyed this book because it made me realize how much I actually self-justify. I was able to relate to the real-world examples used in the book, and I think this book will help with my relationships and will help me to be able to own up to my mistakes and not blame others as much. I highly recommend this book because it is so relatable and can be applied to every person. Thank you.